I just made this one jar of refrigerator beetle beetle. Hi there and welcome to my channel. Check out these uh, refrigerator beet pickles that I've just pulled out of the fridge. I'm going to give them a taste for the first time. So this is a recipe that I'm going to share with you where you can make just one jar of beet pickles in less than 30 minutes. So when I think of making pickles, I have visions of my mother and my grandmother working away in a hot kitchen during the summer, making jars and jars of pickles. And this process of cooking and canning up a whole year's worth of pickles all at once just always seemed very daunting to me. So I never have done it. But now that I've learned how easy it is to make just one or two jars using this quick refrigerator method, I'm all about making pickles now. Okay, so we're here in the kitchen and I have a container of beets here that we cooked up last night. We enjoyed some with our supper and now I'm going to take these leftovers and whip up uh, one jar of refrigerator beet pickles. So this is just a basic brine recipe with four ingredients that I make for all my pickling, whether I'm doing beets, green beans, uh, cucumbers, carrots. This is a good basic brine just to start with. And this is gonna equal a um, 16 ounce or two cup uh, type measurement. So to start with, let me put in one cup of water, add one cup of white vinegar, quarter cup of white sugar, one teaspoon of salt. So that is your basic brine to start with. And from here, you can just add in whatever types of uh, spices or different flavors that you wanna add to your uh, pickling. So for my recipe today, for my refrigerator beets, I'm gonna be adding in about 10 or so black peppercorns. One bay leaf. And I'm gonna try adding a little bit of heat to my uh, pickles here today. I'm a little leery of making it too hot, so I'm gonna just put about a quarter teaspoon of red pepper flakes. So as I said, you can add whatever your taste buds uh, enjoy the most with your pickles. You could put in some dill, some garlic, uh, different types of pickling spices, juniper berries, um, allspice berries. You can also substitute the white vinegar with apple cider vinegar, substitute the white sugar with uh, coconut sugar, or even some honey if you prefer. So we're gonna put this on the stove and get it simmering, and then we'll get our jar filled up with some beets. I'm just gonna let this uh, simmer away for about 10 minutes just to get all that uh, bay leaf and pepper flakes and black pepper flavor infused into the, to the brine. So after it's simmered for five or 10 minutes, I'm just gonna remove it from the heat and let it cool down slightly. So a lot of these beets are just a nice size already, um, don't need to be cut up. So I'm just gonna put these right into the jar and then the bigger ones cut them up into uh, sizes about the same as these. So some of these we uh, boiled on the stove and uh, the bigger um, red ones here we roasted in the oven which really gives them a nice flavor. They turn out a little bit less mushy um, after cooking but these have all been chilling in the fridge so they're they're pretty solid right now.
Okay, so I have filled up my jar with all these beets. So I have the yellow beets and the uh, Detroit red and some of the Chiogia type beets. So it's really nice, pretty colors. So after our brine has cooled down for five or 10 minutes, we just add it to our jar of beets. You can see there's more brine than needed here. You can make another second jar with it you want or just discard what's left over. I just stick a spoon handle or something down the sides just to make sure that there's no air bubbles. Top it up with a little more brine. And that is it. You've just made yourself one jar of refrigerator beet pickles. So I will be just letting it sit on the counter and let it cool to room temperature before putting it in the refrigerator. And it should be ready for a taste test within 24 hours. So I think I could have probably added some more um, hot pepper flakes because they aren't quite as spicy as I was hoping. So I hope you enjoyed watching my video where I shared my one jar recipe for refrigerator beet pickles. And please uh, leave a comment below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe so that you can uh, join me on my next video. Thanks for watching.